Okay, I spoke too soon. It's all right, Leesky. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> well, <laughs> so we're fixing to have a uh, busy little project on our hands. We need to make some room in the shop. Um, I've had the boat in the shop the past few days. Like I told you guys, I was trying to paint it. I did a, a Raptor liner on the floor. I'll show you guys. Did green up here and then a, like a desert tan on all that. Rachel's not so sure about the desert tan, but. I didn't even know you were starting the video. I was sitting there <laughs> looking at the boat. We ain't got time. We got, literally we have been getting rain. I'm sure you've been seeing everybody else's videos and stuff. We didn't do a flood video. Uh, we did take one down at the creek and uh, I might try to throw it up here in just a minute and show you guys what the creek property looks like. It was pretty much gone underwater. But anyways, we've got like six or seven inches of rain the past few days. And of course it happened right in the middle of me trying to finish this project. I had it in the shop, had the ranger in the shop, didn't have any more room. And we're fixing to get some new animals tomorrow. So we got somebody that you guys know, um, they're making a little trip and they're bringing some animals. We're going to do some swapping. So stay tuned for that video. But today we got to move animals we got in the shop out to make room for these new animals you guys know we got the six Cayuga duckling females and then we got the uh, four geese and there's the Sebastopol geese well we got to make room to move them out and uh, the chicken tractor that we got over in the Pico goat pen where Millie and uh, the other geese are in we're gonna actually let them out today they're gonna get out they're gonna get their freedom they're gonna be uh, free ranging the uh, four acre uh, pasture over there with the goats and we'll see how that goes now they're big enough I don't think any of the aerial predators will get them and then of course the coyotes and stuff should be held away for since mojo's over I hear Millie going crazy she just heard me say her name I think it started with one goose and then it escalated quickly and now we have nine <laughs> and I'm still really unsure about having waterfowl and I gotta update you guys on the ducks too we got ducks here and there we actually lost one of the male Cayuga ducks um i think in the last video i can't remember i showed you guys or told you i had to put one over in the turkey pen because the males kind of start they started picking on each other and like pecking each other and they ripped the skin on his neck and stuff well he ended up uh dying so now we got fortunately now we got two ducks on the pond that stay on the pond and then we got two of the males in the turkey pen and uh, we kind of split them up because we're still trying to train our dogs and we're not so sure if w one day Leesky just doesn't wake up and he just wants to eat all the ducks. We just don't know. We're, we're, it's it's an unsure situation right now. We tried separating the ducks and putting them out here. Yeah, out here in the yard in where the they yard. got, where they were raised. When we noticed that the one was injured, well, guess what? They all ended up back on the pond, so I was like, okay. Yep. So then Kevin put them in the front pasture. They ended up back at the pond. They just go right through the fence. And we so. don't want to keep them in an enclosed. No. You know, like and that, an enclosure. That's where I'm getting at. If one day you guys see our video and we don't have any ducks or waterfowl anymore, <laughs> it's probably because it didn't work out and we're just going to get rid of them. We don't want them to get eaten by dogs or anything else. So. We're doing what we can, trying to train everything to work and uh, live together and everything. But sometimes things just don't work out like that. So don't be mad if one day we say, oh, we don't have any more ducks because you just we never know. We don't know. You just never know. Right. But And like I said, you always have to be ready to adapt to different situations. Yep. Now, we haven't seen the dogs just outright attack any of the no. ducks or be aggressive towards any of the ducks. And they've been around them a lot and for a couple weeks now and they yeah. haven't killed them. So. But we're still we're not completely naive at the situation no. that that could change and you know when big dogs start playing with things or think oh gosh i i put my paw on that and it made a noise so that sounds fun yeah you just never know so. so so basically we took two that were over here and put them over in the turkey pen for now just to keep trying to train the dogs because we got the females we got two males over here, two the over here. The sun's coming out. The sun's out. This is the first time the sun's been out in days. Right. So anyways, that's enough yapping for now. Let's go. Let's grab some dog food, feed Mojo, and go uh, let Millie out and see how that goes. Thank you to Birch Living for sponsoring this video. After a hard day's work on the farm, there is nothing better 
than getting a good night's rest on a super comfortable mattress. Right, Skeeter? And for years, we have struggled to find a mattress that was not either too firm or too soft, and one that didn't come and smell like a uh, chemical plant. Right. And uh, another thing that's hard to find is a mattress where you don't sweat to death all night. Yep. I think we found it. I think so. <laughs> Birch is a premium mattress in a box company that makes mattresses and sleep products that are stylish, comfortable, and environmentally conscious. Their non-toxic mattresses are made right here in America and are crafted with organic and natural materials that have been sustainably sourced. Birch Lux takes the comfort, luxury, and safety of the original Birch mattresses to the next level. Crafted with eight different layers of organic cashmere, organic wool, organic cotton, and 100% natural latex. It was important for me to choose a birch mattress that is made with organic and natural materials because I feel hot when I sleep. So the organic materials keep me cool and regulate my body temperature. In addition to being a better mattress for me, birch is committed to being better for the planet. I love that my mattress is not releasing dangerous emissions into the air as it is guaranteed free of harmful chemicals. We ordered the Birch Lux mattress, a premium upgrade to their original well-loved Birch natural mattress. We've had our Birch mattress now for a couple of weeks and uh, I think we all agree that we absolutely love it, including Skeeter, our mini schnauzer. And uh, having a 100% non-toxic mattress that's environmentally friendly is hard to beat. With your Birch mattress, you get a 100 night sleep trial along with a 25 year warranty. If it makes you nervous to buy something that you haven't tried, you get more than three months to make sure that you love it. If you don't, they'll pick it up for you and you get a full refund. The best part about all this is that Birch delivers your mattress right to your door for free within the US. It comes rolled up in a box and it's super easy to set up yourself. We love our Birch Lux mattress and I think you would too. If you're looking for a new bed, check out Birch. You can click on the link below or go to birchliving.com forward slash hidden heights for $400 off your mattress plus two free pillows. Oh wow, I don't know what to think. I got my room back in here. I can do more projects. So there are the duck or the geese. The ducks are over there. So we're gonna get some food for Hojo. And uh, go let Millie out. All right, I got Mojo's food, but all the eggs are in the back of the ranger. I keep forgetting. Oh, okay. I got it hooked on. I got it hooked onto the boat because I needed to make some room. We let Millie out now. Yep. We're gonna let Millie out now and make sure Mojo's not gonna eat her. See, I done forgot the plan. What Here, you said. Peter, what do you think? He's licking his lips. He's you think it's gonna egg. go good. Where's Mo? And uh, I gotta show you guys something. Yesterday, um, Rachel and I was doing a little bit of sightseeing in the flood here and somebody chose to drive, drive the big one-ton dodge and instead of following the driveway i tried to take a shortcut over here by the apple orchard and uh made some really big ruts yep, did it. <laughs> it's it's so rocky up here you never think you'd sink down but that heavy truck did all right mojo <laughs> time to meet millie again mojo what are you doing Smeagol. He'll come if, you, if he knows you're out here. Look at Skeeter. He oh. just walks right through the mud. Skeeter, get out of there. He said, there, I don't like him. All right, Mo. Yeah, talking about rain, I don't know how many times I've emptied this thing. I've emptied it twice in the past couple days. Where is Mo? He's over there napping, I'm sure. All right, let's go let Millie out. Yeah, he's guarding the front door because... And I'm going to try not to zoom in and out. I know I'm going to, I'm going to forget, but I'm going to try not to because it makes a weird noise on this camera. I'm trying to get a uh, new Sony camera, but the one I want is actually non-existent. You can't even find it anymore. They quit making it last December because they can't get no chips to make them like everything else. Go figure. Oh. Don't let me forget. Don't let me forget to tell them we got an update them on the goat that we sold today. We sold one of the Kiko goats. And we got a new baby. We actually got several new babies. Pumpkin? That's a cute baby. I'm guessing it's a boy from its markings. Is that Pumpkin. a little boy? 
Where's our other one? Um, I don't know. We'll have to go see. Can't tell that the board, not think it is. <laughs> Skeeter. Okay. I'm laughing at Mojo. I'm not gonna do the zoom, but Smeekle's over there laying by Mojo and he finally decided to get up. All right, so let's show him the babies first and then we'll let Millie out. She's getting really mad at me, I can tell. All right, so uh, Ebony had twins yesterday too. Yesterday afternoon. Ebony, you got some cute babies too. What do you got? That is a little girl, I think. The other one's underneath that dog box. Both of them are. Oh yeah, there's the other ones. So we're not gonna pester them too much, but Ebony's a good mom. These aren't all Ebony. She's got no. two and Pumpkin has two. One of these are Pumpkins. Yep. Not Pumpkin, Pumpkin. Pumpkin, not Pumpkin. I am. So they're good. We just won't mess with them. We can update them on our next video. Oh, hopefully. girl. Ebony's a good so one. So we have a lot of, we probably could have done like four different videos today. Because <laughs> yeah, we'll we, just roll it into it's one. It's like we've got rid of a goat. We have four new babies. Right when we're trying to downsize and then we get these. Hey, it's a blessing. Yes, it is. All right, let's go let Millie out. All right, so I told you we've been talking about downsizing goats. Well, we got a friend coming tomorrow. So we're gonna do some trading for animals. We're gonna be getting some animals that we have never raised before. Something totally different that I am so unsure about. <sighs> That's the beauty of being able to do things like that. We can uh, choose to do that and if we want, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but sometimes jumping into raising animals that you've never never had or never really been around is kind of a scary thing. But I think it'll be all right. All right, Millie, you ready, girl? She said yes. Come on. Come here, Millie. Oh, we're going to hold that or tie that rope on it. Come here, Millie. I don't even know if she knows how to come out. Come here, Millie. They don't even know they can come out, do they? That chicken's gonna go in there though. Millie, Millie! Let's see if I can set this camera. <laughs> oh, the grass is gonna encourage them to come out. We haven't moved them for a couple days in the tractor, so. Oh! There they go! I almost forgot, they got a surprise in the back of the truck. So two of them's out, and that's not Millie, that's the young ones. Oh, she's, Millie said, get out of here, chicken, this is my house. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna just set this camera up. I gotta start taking this thing apart. Millie, get out of there, come on. so you guys look so much more happier and beautiful out here look at all this grass you have endless grass bugs everything where's the other geese maybe they don't want to be part of their pack all right do you think let's 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 wheel that out now while the goats ain't paying attention look they're, <laughs> they're like we got room you're missing it. Check this out. They got their wings spread and they're running. Is that not the funniest thing ever? 
Finally, they got room. Look at that. They're so much more happier. I hate raising stuff in little pins like that, but you kind of have to until they get to the size or they would just get picked off by the hawks and stuff. That is funny. So one of our um, Sebastopol's has the lavender or the purple, I don't know if that's what they call it, saddleback or what it is, but she's got, she's getting the purple feathers. But we got a surprise in the truck. I'm gonna go grab it real quick. Here, I'll give you the camera and let everybody watch them enjoy their freedom. I'm gonna go grab that. Really, I got you a present, girl. Uh oh, what's gonna happen? Sugar! It made me a little nervous. They did okay. <laughs> no, we just look at them. They're like, what are you doing over there? If you guys hear a funny noise, it's the zoom. We're trying to figure out how to fix that. Every time we zoom in and out, it sounds terrible. <laughs> Pumpkin, your baby is cute. Your other baby's napping. Yeah? Your other baby's napping. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to go with So we're up here. So we're up here trying to uh, fill their swimming pool up and. The goats all took off to go uh, graze on some grass and weeds, and the geese are just following them around. It's like they're part of the goat herd. It's the weirdest thing. They keep spreading their wings out and just running. Look. <laughs> Millie, I got your pull. Come on. All right, so while that's filling up, let's go take a look at these ducks. We're gonna go ahead and let the ducks out and just see if they'll stay over here. I don't know if they'll uh, gather with the geese or not. They might. 
Probably not. I think if I let them out, they're going to hear the other ducks and they're going to go right back over to the pond. We'll see. You got one out? Oh, that one's. Back to me. You guys can't be uh, mean to each other. If you go back over there, y'all better behave and don't pick on each other. Cause that's how y'all get hurt. Yep. That one almost act like its legs hurt or something. <clears throat> that one's limping. Yeah, you got something going on. I have to watch him. <clears throat> Millie, what do you think about ducks? Ducks, meet Millie. She said, you sound kind of like us. They said, hey man, I want back in that pen. She said, these girls are big. <laughs> so far, so good. You guys can get back in the pen if you want. I'm gonna... I feel like we're gonna have a brawl anyhow. I don't know. I don't know if they'll brawl. Millie wants to check them out, I think. They said, can we just go back in there, please? All right, I'm going to strap this door open because now we got the geese and got everything else over here. We kind of feel like we need to allow them to have another barn to be able to get in. I'm not sure what they'll pick to get in, but... They love grass, that's for sure. All right, that one's full. Let's fill this one up now. So those babies are in the barn jumping around trying to play with that chicken. And that baby on the backside has a ghost face just like ghost face. She has a pure white face. Of course, when I start recording, they quit jumping and playing. You can see its tail going 90 to nothing. That means it's happy. He's trying to play with its sibling there. She said, play with me. Okay, let's play. <laughs> they can't jump really high, but they're trying. Oh, this other baby wants to come out now. She said, Mama, where are you? Millie, you're one of the best lawn services I've ever had, you know that? You do a very good job trimming that grass. She says, thank you, sir. She says, that'll do just right off the top. They love it out here. They're just laying down in the grass and eating. Hey, duck. All right, so we just moved the chicken tractor out over by the blackberries and uh, Millie and gang decided to follow us over here. And then uh, this is Liesky's first time seeing Millie and the geese. What do you think? Skeeter's over there telling them it's okay. Liesky, those geese are supposed to be here. <laughs> you think that's what he said? Yep. Millie, you must like us because ever since you got out, you've just been following us around the farm. <laughs> They're excited to be free. They are excited to be free. And down here, um, I think there's some mud puddles, so I'm eager to see what they do. Oh yeah, there's some mud and water down here. They're, they're coming this way. Let's see what they do. They may get that far. I bet they'll get a drink out of it. What do you think? No? It's all right, Lisky. They're part of our animals, buddy. It says, let me get a closer look at them. It's all right, bud. All right. All right, let's go get them ducks and put them in this tractor. 
Uh oh, Rachel's enticing them there. They said, no, that water's too dirty for us. Sure. Okay, I spoke too soon. It's all right, Leesky. It's okay, Baba. They're friends. It's okay. Let's go pet him. So he knows. It's okay. And the other part of the quack pack, they are on the pond resting right now. Okay, so one of the bad things about keeping waterfowl is you have to keep them indoors or under a light when it's so cold outside. And uh, in order to do that, you gotta keep them in here for us in the shop. And we got this tarp down because they are waterfowl. They are naturally uh, Disgusting. lured to water and when they <laughs> got water they get water in their mouth I mean you can put fresh shavings down I just every put day. fresh shavings down two days ago that's and what yeah like. they just spread the water everywhere so it just piles up so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get them out of here and we're gonna go, go going to go dump this and uh, clean it and make it start over but, but the geese and the ducks are gonna move out to the chicken tractor we got the cage right here we're gonna win and I bet that fills a grove. That is disgusting. Alright, Skeeter. Calm down. Calm down. They keep trying to get out and they're just up the right side to stick in. You know, they, they get stuck. You have to push it back this way. Can you get it? I'm just. Skeeter, nobody. Skeeter, get out! We're fixing to go get some sunshine. You'll be in a but much better mood. Alright. Yeah, stinky, stinky geese. They make your shop smell too. Alright, if everybody put their seatbelts on. Sunshine and some uh, fresh green grass. How about that? They said, "Quit talking and hurry up and get us there, Mister." I'm just making sure I stay in there. Skeet, come here. Oh, nope, Millie hears them. Okay. There. I bet you're going to like this grass a whole lot better than you do those wet shavings. Okay, there's the geese. I think they're talking to that chicken. Okay, we got the ducks and geese settled, got them water and all that. We still got to get the ducks and the, the little geese their food. But we wanted to come feed the dogs real quick and give you an update. Leesky and Cora here is coming. We want to feed the dogs, give you guys an update on what goat we got rid of today. So if you guys remember, every time we were going to feed the dogs, there was always a goat. 
I wouldn't leave them alone. I always wanted to eat their food. One sock. Well, one sock is no longer with us. One sock had a set of twins. They are old enough to be weaned. Now they will be forced to be weaned. Um, they're already eating grass and food and all that anyways. But the main reason we got rid of one sock is she would not leave Cora alone. Cora could just be sitting here, laying here, taking a nap, minding her own business. And if one sock got even anywhere close to Cora, even though Cora is asleep, one sock would just run over and uh, headbutt her. And it, she, luckily she never got hurt, but it hurt her feelings more than anything. And uh, that is not something that we want to do to train this puppy because what happens is that could potentially scare Miss Cora the guard dog puppy into not wanting to be around the goats and injure her well for sure number one we don't want her being injured come here Cora let's get some food here oh yeah yummy food yummy kibbles yummy kibbles you want some eggs there you go she said I want my eggs uh really over easy and i like them on the side so they don't make my food all sticky because sometimes oops just got it on her head sorry sticky girl and we're getting quite the eggshells built up here look at all this but a lot of people say oh i can't believe how shiny and pretty your dog's coats are well these raw eggs these fresh raw eggs has a lot to do with that make sure her collar is still good good girl you're growing and you're doing so good and the Mr. Leesky's doing good. It's his first time he's ever seen the geese, and he didn't know what to think, did you, Bubba? He's never he's never seen he said, them before. Oh, I can't talk with my mouth full. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "It's not polite to talk when you're eating, Dad." <laughs> All right, so there you go, Leesky. First time seeing the geese, and uh, he growled at them at first. He didn't know what to think. His little ears, oh. his little muffet ears went. Whoop. Yep, but uh. You can see now we're feeding the barns wide open none of the goats have interest in coming eating dog food because they got all that grass and one sock was the only one that was addicted to dog food she and now plain mean and yeah, spider rubs on my face we call goats like we've said we've called goats that cold call what's that get mean? rid of coal c-u-l-l -L. like kind of weed them out from weed them out get if any one of them has bad habits and they yes. don't last not always and she here's the deal she's not a bad goat by no means is one talk a bad goat her only problem was she got two problems she liked to eat the dog food sometimes but her number one thing was she always tried to hurt miss cora no matter what and i didn't i hated seeing that because a lot of times i'll be this out of the back porch or something like you know 50 60 yards away and Cora would be sitting here taking a nap and one sock would just walk right up to her and headbutt her and she'd go yelping and if she's seen one sock coming she went the other way for sure yeah and you can see everyone says i can't believe you put your puppy in with your adult livestock guardian dog he's gonna tear her up well he's uh letting her eat some of his food right now so they're doing fantastic doing really good all right, so let's let them be. Let's let them eat. We're going to walk back over and uh, take one more look at the... Where'd Rachel go? Take one more look at the ducks and geese. Millie, she's she's over there still yelling at us. She's she's happy as can be. She's happy. What is it? Happy as a lark. Happy as a goose. Lark. A free goose. A free goose. <laughs> so all the other geese, or geese, goats are over there grazing, eating grass and weeds. This one's just chilling on the reel. This leg hanging off. That's actually a girl that we're going to be keeping. And there's old Skeeter. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> then you got another kid trying to figure out what a water hose is. Silly thing. <laughs> oh, look, they already made friends. Everybody's back together again. No violence. It looks like the ducks has already been swimming. Oh, at least he sees the geese again. It's all right, boy. It'll take him a little bit to get used to him. This isn't even his pasture he guards. Anyway, that's that's a uh, mojo. All right, there's your food, little guys and girls. I'm putting our food way away from the water. Yeah, if you don't, it'll be soaked. Okay. They're, eat they're eating tons of grass. They're so cute. So the way we got this, it's facing the east, so they'll get the uh, sun out of the morning and afternoon, and then the hot sun in the evening that we're fixing to get, 
will be blocked for now. They're loving the grass. Everybody they love ate the grass. a bunch. I'm glad they're all getting along. Yeah. All right, so we got mineral. We got some scratch for the chickens in the coop. We got to fill their feeder up. And uh, I got dog treats in the back of my truck, and Mr. Mojo knows it. <laughs> we got them dog bones, them snaps or whatever are they are. Are you ready to eat now? He said, oh, guys, I'll come out for my dinner now. It's uh, getting late. We've he's, been out here for an hour and a half. He's an old man. He said, don't make fun of me, Dad. He said, I was too tired to come eat while ago. You ready to go eat? Come on, let's go eat. All right, so I was looking at this little colored thing here with the little ghost face. So she's got the uh, patternist chip. You guys remember Chip? Oh, Rachel can't get in. But that's this is a little girl. She's got the powder in his chip and the face of ghost face and her mom saw the black Miss Ebony right there. All right, she needs to get in here at the wagon. Excuse us. <laughs> hey, excuse us. This is why we need a downsize. One of the reasons. One of the hey, reasons. move. <laughs> They're so rude. Here, give me that bucket and I'll walk over there. That's the only way it's gonna work. Well, just said, guys, I can't get my food. The big bucket. Look what I got, guys. This ain't for you, though. Look, all you gotta do. All right, so we were using the gorilla cart to carry this heavy bucket of food, but I'm just gonna carry it so Rachel can get through. Millie, have you all found your pool yet? Guess not. So I got a whole crowd of people, or goats, I say people, trying to block me. Just hoping I spill this food. I'm coming, guys. You gotta fill your feeder up. Alright. No snakes, no snakes. Look at this, they're all falling on me. Alright, move. Shadow, don't start again. No. Okay. Haven't quite made it. Oh. Alright, I made it. Oh. Alright, it's dark in here. So I'm gonna fill this up real quick. Mineral time. So we're mixing the Redmond uh, goat mineral and the garlic together. And they really seem to like that. And as you can see, it's pretty much summertime now and they don't have flies on them. Did you get the eggs? There's surely no ticks. I got the eggs that I could get. There's a bunch of... Hey, I don't... Wasn't really wanting to ride a goat today. Go, move, girl. All right, I'm gonna set this in here, and it's got eggs in it. And they're gonna jump up here and try to break them. What? Thinking it has food. Hey, get off there! Ghost, really, man? Come on. All right, Rachel's throwing some uh, scratch out. While you're doing that, I'm gonna make a break for it. All right, guys. So uh, as you can see. Millie and I don't know the name of her group. What's the name of your gang? You said Millie and the... It's not a gang, it's a squad. Squad, whatever. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. We love you, thank you for the continued support. I'm gonna sneak towards the gate while Rachel's throwing that grain out. Oh, oh the geese are going crazy. So stay tuned, because in the next few days, we're gonna have a visitor and we're gonna be doing some swapping. We're actually gonna be taking some goats and they're bringing some animals that uh, I've never even hardly ever been around. I've been around them a few times, but only at like zoos and stuff. So stay tuned. Mojo, we're fixing to get some new animals. Are you excited? <laughs> Tell them bye. Bye. Millie, everybody said bye. Everybody said be good. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next one.